Shivas Regal was the first Scotch that created the explosive interest in Scotch. There was always some interest in brown goods originated with cognac. But the explosiveness occurred in the early 2000s when we helped Chinese people find a way to enjoy Scotch. And that was with green tea. So it was a nice mix. You were able to drink it in, in bars. You could drink a reasonable amount without having to, to uh, get inebriated. But in the process, we were actually training people out of scotch, out of the quality credentials of scotch, the profile, the characteristics, the, 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 you know, the, the sipping capability. And it was a mistake in one front that a purist would say, my God, how can you do that to scotch? We've been battling that for the last few years to take scotch up a notch, take it up into the uh, high-end luxury level, and to deal with that little dynamic where the entry-level scotch has become not that interesting anymore. But now they are engaging and interested in 18-year-old, 25-year-old Chivas Regal, 21-year-old uh, Royal Salute. So by moving it up the ladder and introducing it in a bit more of a traditional fashion, we've put the emphasis back on the product, not the mode of consumption. And that's initially what happened with Chivas Regal. We gave them a good way to drink it, but in a way, that took away from the product's DNA and actual fiber. You've got to be true to the DNA of your luxury offering. So yes, Chinese people are fascinated by products from France, and they're fascinated by expensive cars and boats. But that doesn't mean you have to create a car for China, or that you violate the actual DNA of the product to suit a Chinese uh, situation. They like cognac. They love Martel. They love the prestige it offers and the stories they see of Martel globally. I would not change Martel to sell it in China to suit a Chinese person. I might create a blend that's a bit more suitable to the palate, but I would retain the credentials and the DNA of the luxury offering. And I know some multinationals that are uh, dealing in luxury goods that are very, very strict about that. Tailoring, adapting, Yes, but don't violate what, what the initial attachment was, uh, which was the fundamental DNA of this luxury item from abroad.